Okay. <laughs> Your glasses are fogging up. <laughs> Just, uh... Hi, Marathon Sports. This is Molly Seidel. Jared Ward. We're here at the London Marathon Meet Hotel at an undisclosed location. Um, we're here to do 26.2 questions with you guys before our London Marathon on Sunday. So I think we can probably pull our masks down. Okay, we've... ready. We've been running together, right? Yeah, we've okay. been quarantining together. We've been tested a million times. Thanks for the mask, by the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jared, are you ready? I think so. Molly. Did you watch any British TV shows to prepare for your jump over the pond? I did. I've been watching a lot of Great British Bake Off, um, so I know how to make an excellent creme anglaise, but my marathon skills are to be desired. <laughs> Jared, did you pack any American snacks for Ab the trip? Absolutely. Uh, many, many honey stinger bars, which I consider very American. They're filled with almond butter, dark chocolate. Oh. It's, uh, yeah, it's everything American packaged into one. Thing. Jared, can I have some? Yes. Let me. Well, you know, I may have eaten through my whole stash of them already, but if I got one in there, a it's, likely it's got story. Your name on it. Likely story. Okay. Sorry. Next oh. question. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, what does it feel like being in a bubble? Um, it's very idyllic, very um, peaceful. Pretty boring, truthfully. Idyllic is a good word. Yeah, it's like a beautiful English countryside, like meditation retreat. You know what I think this feels like? Mm -hmm. The Olympic Village, but a lot less people, a lot less. See, buzz. you've got you've got more experience like, with that. Than it's me. a lockdown. You know, you don't know whether the guards, the security guards around the uh, area, are to keep people out or if they're here to keep you in. <laughs> right? You you kind of don't know, <laughs> and uh, that's what it feels like here. Okay, good good to know that I'm preparing for the Olympics with our uh, with our quarantine bubble. You'll be ready. Okay, what do we have next, Jared? How is it training on a 40 acre campus? It's lovely. It's uh, it's either four minute loops on the giant field or eight minute loops weaving around mm -hmm. trails. and. That's double the time there. It's well, more than enough space. You know, and uh, we're gonna be running on a looped course, so mm -hmm. we might as well get ready. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> do you have COVID? No. <clears throat> You've Don't worry, we, we've been tested. We've been tested many times. You can ask the man who stuck the um, very long Q-tip up my nose two days ago. You know, the COVID testing is, to, at least what we have in Utah, it's much nicer here. They're like, mm -hmm. he was very gentle with his swabbing. I got you the know? wrong guy then. Really? Yeah. And, oh man, in Utah, we're getting like this thing all the way, like it's like four inches of wire up your nose into your throat. I've got this is this is gonna be a video on the details of COVID testing now. Sorry. <laughs> Jared, what lap of the marathon do you think will be the hardest? Mm -hmm. 18 or maybe 17. Mm -hmm. Coach Eyestone during intervals will always say just one more lap and then the last one. And so I have it in my mind that the second to last lap is kind of the last lap. So I get a little adrenaline there and then you get the last lap for free. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe 18, I'm just going to be trying to keep track of what lap we're on. They'll have a big board. Yeah. <laughs> what shoes will you be wearing for the race? I will be racing in the Saucony Endorphin Pro, our new hot pink Vizzy Pro. So I'm very excited. Fresh pair. And I will also be in the Vizzy Pro. So. Oh, wait, that's one of the later questions. Oh, sorry. D you're blowing this. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what color it is. The man doesn't even know sure. how this works. Um, Jared, will your students stay up to watch the race? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They couldn't care less. No love. <laughs> uh, what will you eat before the marathon? I will have probably some hard boiled eggs, a piece of toast, and a lot of coffee. <laughs> a lot of coffee. Fair. Okay, Jared, how are you feeling on your taper? Oh no, wait, I messed it up. Oh, that was supposed to be my question. Well, that's all right. Okay. I feel good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now you, I guess you can ask me the what, question I had for you. <laughs> what will you eat after your race? I don't know. We'll have to see how my stomach's feeling, but I'm hoping there will be beer in there. <laughs> I, uh, you know, in, in Great Britain, I look for like fish and chips after the race. And, I don't know what we're going to be able just, to get after this because we can't actually go into know. London. Yeah. Or like a pastry, right? You're a baker. Ooh, so one yeah, of those. Yeah, that would be good. I don't pastries. know. I always want something savory after though. The fish and chips sounds excellent. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Maybe we can have somebody order in for us. I hope so. Okay, Jared, do you have a good luck charm? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> the uh, the endorphin pro, I okay. guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. worked mm -hmm. ish. It, no, it works really well. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, current Netflix show you're watching in the bubble. The Good Place, final season. Very, very good show. Highly recommended. The Good Place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check it out. Kirsten Bell, funny All as hell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jared, how excited are you to race? Pretty jazzed. I feel uh, I feel lucky to be here, to be given the opportunity. You know, I think uh, I take just having a race less for granted than I did months ago. Mm -hmm. True that. Uh, how nervous are you to race? Oh, terrified. I'm, yeah. I feel more nervous this one too. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm out of practice. I, a great man uh, once said, hashtag don't get lapped. So yeah, that's the goal. Run scared. Run scared. Run scared. Two world record holders in this race. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jared, which direction are we running a marathon? Let's see, it would be clockwise. Is that right? I believe so. Race right. clockwise. Run fast, turn, run fast, turn right? Well, yes, yeah, opposite of a track. Yeah, we better not go the wrong way. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. Don't get turned around. Uh, do you think you'll see the queen? Oh, I certainly hope so. Out one of the like high windows, like yeah, the curtain like parts. somewhere on Buckingham curtain Palace, parts. just peering out. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Mm -hmm. Jared, do your best British accent. Oh, I don't have an accent. <laughs> that was like Australian. Was it really? <laughs> that was closer. That was closer. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> British, British accent. Okay, would you race the Queen of England in a donut mile? I think I would be royally obligated if she challenged me. If she asked you to eat a donut during the race. Oh, would I would do I would literally do anything that Queen Elizabeth <laughs> tells me. That's my other favorite Netflix show is The Crown. Big, big, big QE2 fan. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Jared, how was your training for London different than for Atlanta? Well, it was shorter. You know, I for Atlanta, I had 17 weeks from New York to Atlanta and I felt very rushed and so, um, I probably didn't rest enough after New York and then I jumped right into it. Um, this time I committed seven weeks before the race. So if this build works and translates to a good race, I am never training for 12 weeks or 16 weeks for a marathon ever again. Be seven. See, he's hacked the code. Maybe. Um, okay. Oh, I think, I think I've messed up on the questions here. Um, Jared, I'll just ask you again. What shoes are you wearing for the race? Well, I'll be wearing the Endorphin Pro, Busy Pro. They're orange. Mmm. So lovely. look for the hot orange, hot pink. You can't miss us. Literally, you no. You really can't miss us. It could be pouring rain and you would still see our <laughs> shoes glowing on that course. <laughs> Explain how excited you are to race in your worst British accent. Oh, blimey, Governor! I'm bloody excited to be ripping laps around the the Queen's house. Cup of tea, mate. Jolly good, mate. I think that's also Australian. I throw another steak on the barbie. The dingo ate my baby. <laughs> Jared, what nutrition will you be taking during the marathon? So I'll be drinking some Martin, uh, taking some honey. I got my honey stinger gels ready. Um, so same, same as it's been for the last few races. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'll just ask you another one. What color is your uniform you're wearing on Sunday? So the, the folks out here know who to look for other than the bright shoes. Well, it's gonna be red, red and black. Yes, yours? Mm -hmm. I will also be wearing red and black. Uh, we'll be looking good. Oh, that'll be so awkward. We're uh, matching. Don't you hate <laughs> it when you show up somewhere and you're matching? <laughs> you know, it's not, it could be worse. Mm. Who's your favorite British royal family member? Well, I think I gave it away that I really love the queen, but also do and the corgis did. count? I'm a big corgi fan and those royal corgis, the man. Corgis count? Oh, I would, I would die if the corgis are out there. Oh, all I want is a corgi. Uh, uh, Jared, what's your pre-race pump-up song? Oh man, I never listen to music, so it'll just be me in my own head getting ready for the race. You just listen, listen to ambient wind just, sounds? That's it, and probably the rain. Yeah, probably the rain. Probably a lot of rain. Okay, that's our 26 questions. Thanks guys for tuning in. Cheers. Uh, yeah, cheers. Fly me, mate. Uh, 
keep an eye out for us racing this Sunday um, in the London Marathon. Uh, go Saucony, go Marathon Sports, and uh, see you guys. See ya.